So one leg at a time. If you're able to bring your knee out to the side while stretching, for example, the right leg to start with, um, that's great. If you wanted to keep it bent upright, that's fine. Just pop your leg out of the way so you can bring your arms over to the right leg of focus if that's okay. So I'm not square on like this. My leg is a little bit out, but if it feels more comfortable for you to have the leg straight, straight out, then that's fine. Um, you can get sort of different angles of stretch by moving the leg around. So for me, I'm going this way. You can start by pointing the toes up towards you, see how that feels. Have a sort of a, a tall, long spine. So imagine you've got some strings coming out from the top of the head and you're just creating a bit of length so you're not sort of collapsing in or arching back. Um, should feel comfortable and you probably feel a bit of a, a calf stretch in bringing the toes up towards you. Or you can just go, I am more comfortable doing this, so this is how I will, I will do mine. Um, you can then just slide your hands towards your knee, keeping that length in the spine. I am bringing my head over towards my toe, um, and for me, I am feeling a bit of a stretch as I come to here. And for me, it's sort of the back of the knee area where the, the hamstrings are attaching around in the back of the knee area there. So, and that feels like a nice stretch. I can add a bit more by pointing the toes towards me. I want to stretch the calf as well. If I just want to do the hamstring, I'll let my toes um, just point up towards the ceiling and just lean in a little bit more. And you can just take your time and just go a little bit at a time. If you're looking for just a gentle stretch, you're not going to force it and you're not going to bounce. So I'm gonna stay here for around about 30 seconds and then coming back again there. And to stretch the other side, I'll bring my leg out. Again, you don't have to bring the leg out if it's not comfortable for you. Um, perhaps do a little bit of a, a wiggle and a toggle in the leg to make sure things are relaxed. My leg is a little bit out to the side, not straight on. See what works best for you. Again, try and keep upright. Um, and I'm already feeling that my left is clearly very tight. Some people will be able to go all the way down towards the foot. Um, and then you'll feel a nice stretch in the hamstring and the calf there. Um, for me, I'm just looking for a gentle stretch underneath kind of the knee area, the lower part of the thigh at the back, and that feels pretty good there. And then for example, if I wasn't able to do that, yeah, I could feel it in a slightly different place when I bring my foot square on forwards. Um, but I do find this just more comfortable for my setup for the way my hips are and that works a little bit easier for me. You can also do this stretch um, with both legs at the same time, so having the legs both flat out and you can just lean forwards if the back feels comfortable to do that. Again, keeping a kind of a, a straight up long spine, but you are then sort of coming forwards but you're not collapsing forwards and arching um, or bending, so you're just kind of keeping that uprightness. Um, or you can obviously use a, a low step um, to, to do a, a hamstring stretch, but see what works well for you um, and give this one a try.